How's it going, everyone? Nizem45 here with some more Star Trek Online. Alright, so today we're going to be playing The Breach. Um, now, just to quickly clarify, if uh, if some of you don't already know, which I'm, I'd be surprised if some of you don't know, but I found a few people in my fleet didn't know, uh, this is currently an event going on on Star Trek Online. I am a bit late making this video. In fact, I'm two weeks late making this video. <coughs> anyway, uh, this is uh, this is one of the... Uh, it, Events currently going on. Um, the reward is a. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a. It's an admirality ship actually. Um, pretty powerful one to be honest. But anyway, uh, I'll talk about that reward later. I thought we'd uh, we'd play this mission. Um, I haven't used Saran recently, and by recently I mean I used him in a couple of videos ago when I did a, a dual commentary with uh, Talon. Talion. I don't. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, anyway. I just realized my rock and roll is not active because I forgot to select the correct specialization. I'm starting this video off to a great start. Anyway, <laughs> starting to the commentary. It's been a few. It's been a while since I've commentated. I, I'm rusty right now. Anyway, um, okay. So uh, where to start with this? I guess uh, the first thing to start is um, some of you who have uh, been watching my channel for a very, very unnaturally long time, may actually remember me playing this mission uh, over two years ago now. I played this mission back when Season 8 was uh, was out, back when this mission was first released, which was at Season 8. Apparently, I looked it up, uh, the Voth came on Season 8, I believe. And if I'm lying, then, uh, well, you know, sue me. Anyway. Uh, this mission was repurposed, or <clears throat> to be refurbished lately, uh, Probably a couple months ago, or so, I'd say this mission was removed from the uh, the Q roster to be refurbished, just like uh ah oh, what was that other one called? The Undyne one that everyone liked, that's now gone because it was insanely hard. Anyway, it actually did get refurbished despite everyone's beliefs, and is now being used as an event mission. Um, I did play this mission two years ago, as I mentioned. Uh, few seconds ago, and uh, there will probably be a, an annotation on the screen right now if you want to watch a very, very salty Nizam play through an, an agonizingly unbalanced version of this mission two years ago. <laughs> I was watching it myself uh, while I was preparing for this video, and uh, I'm not going to lie, it's very interesting to see myself uh, rage at Star Trek Online. It's not often, but <laughs> it's uh, it happens. Anyway... Um, you may be noticing that we're speeding through this part, really. Uh, one of the things that they refurbished for the breach was uh, making it much more streamlined, and I, I have to say they did, you know, do that correctly. I really want to use my fire at will on this, but everyone's too speedy than I am. I'm a big, fat ship. I can't catch up to them. Anyway. But no, they did streamline this. Um, a lot of the hard points that you're seeing, we're, we're, oh, we're already at 82% right now. Um... We have to get to 100% to move on to the next one. Oh, I can do it here. Ah, oh, yes, that's so cool. I love doing that. Ah, uh, nothing quite like that. Anyway, they they did um, streamline this quite a bit. We should go to the next rally point. Um, a little while. Go to the rally point. Anyway. A little while ago, we were shooting uh, these little pods on the ground, if you might remember. Uh, that was one thing I noticed in my old video that I did. Um, I was deathly afraid of those back then. And I, uh, after watching the video, I realized, I remembered why. Those used to be extremely overpowered little uh, things we were shooting that could shoot transphasic torpedoes at your ship that did 10,000 damage through your shields. Yeah. It was an extremely painful mission to play back then. In fact, the entire little uh, shooting gallery thing we just went through a moment ago, that took a good probably 20 to 25 minutes to do on the original version of this mission. Uh, needless to say, they've obviously done a quite good job on fixing the, uh, the timeline of this. Plus, you know, this is three seasons later. So we're all buffed out the hilt with power creep. So we're all. So this is honestly a really easy mission now. Um, I've actually recorded another video um, that I'll be posting sooner or later um, that I neglected to do when the initial mission came out because it was unbelievably hard. But now that we're all overpowered, it's really easy. So yeah. Anyway, so we're now 
once again on to the next part in here, where I believe we need to close all the little uh, hangar bays over there. No, don't steal my car. Ah, uh, I miss not having a second tactical team. I should bring out some uh, fire squadrons. Also, I don't remember if I showed this ship off or not, but anyway, this is a uh, one of the command cruisers I bought uh, a while ago. I, I wanted to get the pack for Saran because he felt kind of like he wasn't doing as much damage as he could. I still think he's a sponge, but whatever. Um, but now I'm using the little uh, Elite Folding Widow Fighters now, which are pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, Voth using their Vothness, as always. Um, but no, in all, this mission has been really quite revamped. I'm not going to say I like it, because, you know, compared to the Salty Nizen that was in the video th almost three years ago now, it's about a month away from being three years. But, um, the Nizen that was in that video, uh, really had quite a few things to say about this mission, and honestly, at the time, that was kind of rightly so. This, this mission was very... I don't honestly know if, like, missions like Into the Hive and uh, Hive Onslaught are really, quote-unquote, hard anymore. Um, I know they used to be. If they still are, then I'd say that's a good example of what this mission used to be like. It was very difficult. Enemies in here, as you can just see, I'm assuming this is not due to complete uh, power leeching or power creeping. That's creepy, that's what I was trying to say. But uh, I'm assuming it's not due to just complete that, but we're just ma mowing through these enemies like they're tissue paper right now. Um, I'm gonna heal that guy's shields. Um, every mission, every enemy in this mission before, on the other hand, was extremely hard on elite status almost for the time that video was made at the time this game was in Season 8, it, it felt like you were playing Elite when you were playing Normal. So needless to say, many things have been nerfed and debuffed in this specific mission, which is a blessing and a half, I'll tell you. Um, not to mention, I've been recording this for about 9 minutes now, there's a little bit of footage that I had to cut out to, to start the video and all. But uh, at this point, in this hangar, which we're going to be fighting that big guy over there in a few moments, um, at this point... I would have been playing this mission back in Season 8 for probably... Probably... I'm guessing over 20 minutes by now. Like uh, I like I said, I was watching my old video a little bit as I was repa preparing for, uh, for this video. To see, like, uh, oh, I wonder what the old version is. Since, uh, since we haven't played... Since I haven't actually played this particular mission since this event for many... a year now. Um, and multiple times I cut areas in the video. Like I said, you can, I'll try and leave a link in the description as well, um, for that video if you want to watch, watch that old one. But I cut many places out of the video because it was taking an excruciating long time to get anything done in this mission. And like I said, I've only been recording for about nine, now ten minutes. And uh, we're already halfway through this mission. It's... It, it's so much better than it used to be. Though at the same time, having it as an event mission, kind of, uh, I'd, I'd liken it to the difficulty of maybe, like, being... Maybe something like, uh, what was it? Uh, the Mirror Universe Incursion? Kind of like that level of difficulty and monotony. You know, doing that across ten characters will drive someone insane. Which is why, by the way, I did not do this across ten characters this time. Because, you know, I, I value my sanity. You know, I don't have a lot of it left, so... And I am just about out of things to say. The only thing that I feel that they really didn't nerf, necessarily, was this big, fat ship right here. They did not nerf this guy at all. He still has his spatial charges. <laughs> I know, his spatial charges, but I, I, while I was watching that old video, uh, I happened to, I remembered that I used to call them spatial charges. I don't have them on this ship, unfortunately. Wait, do I have them? No, I don't. Um, but I had it on Nice, and I still use that console, by the way. Uh, but I used to call them spatial charges as a joke. 
But he, no, this ship still does have the spatial charge launcher, and it still does like 20,000 damage through your shields if you get hit by it. It's a devastating weapon, even still. Um, I have been one shot with Nizam and his little ship many times. Uh, it's not fun. It's not fun fighting these guys. At least not the really big guys. The little boss, the little boss are fine. But these guys, no. Um, let's talk about my ship a little bit more. Also, I should launch more of my Widow Fighters. Those things die so easily. Oh good, he launched that stupid reflective shield on the other side. Okay. Um, I don't remember if I talked about this new ship, the Alpha Kate 4, a lot. Not uh, in uh, one of my previous videos. Um, I won't be doing... I, I, well, I won't say that. I probably won't be doing a ship review video of this one, just because everything that you're seeing used here, except for like a couple of set items, is the exact same loadout I had on my previous ship. I just copied it over, so you know nothing really new there. Um, the reason I went over to the command ship, though, is a friend of mine in my fleet um, was using it, and it actually significantly improved his damage output as a science officer, and Saran is a science officer, so I, I wanted to try that, plus I had invested a lot of my specialization points into the command chain, um, which I later found out is good if you're an engineer, but not so much if you're a science officer. So I've been, I've been playing the Admiralty system a lot, I got half a pilot filled, I got all commando filled, and I got... Uh, two away currently from the uh, intel officer, which is now my primary, doing that. I love the intel tree, I tell ya. Um, it's the best one, in my opinion, for uh, for damage dealing. Like, other ones kind of advertise that they are. I'm gonna run smack dab into the wall. Ow! Okay. <clears throat> I ran into a wall. We're all dead. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I just, I used the impulse burst, um for that, by the way. It, this mission is so huge. If you haven't even looked at this map, it's just gigantic. So, you know, for a big fat ship like this, it needs to, it needs speed. It needs to get around fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, we might as well take out these guys. Give me some power. Debuff you. Oh, that's nice. You use both your shields, which means every single thing I'm going to shoot at you does nothing. Great! Yay! Thank you! Okay. Uh, I still wish that ability in particular was not available to open that. What the heck? Why is my opposing shield down? Weird. Also, I just realized I'm not shooting. Um, as I was saying about the intelligence uh, specialization, um, it's a really good tree, I think, for uh, for damage to you. Um, I thought it wouldn't do as much damage for a science officer and a cruiser, but actually it does pretty good. I noticed a good 10% eh, bonus in damage, I say, by now. I don't know. Um, but one thing I also have been hearing about uh, specialization trees like... Yikes, that's loud! Okay, thank you! Anyway, who, um... One thing I've been hearing about specialization trees lately is the new, uh, I think it's Strategist? Strategist? Not Strategic. Strategist, I believe. Um, specialization is going to be coming out with Season 11.5. Where is that stupid power core? Um, I read a little bit over it on the, on the forums, not in depth or anything. I don't think I'll be doing a cover video on it. But to me, it kind of looks like uh, it has about as much importance or effectiveness in space, I guess, as the uh, as the the commando officer is for ground, I suppose. Like it, it helps out, but it wouldn't really affect my playstyle all that much. So I don't think I'll be using it. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be filling it out to get the trait and all. But, you know, besides that, I'm going to use my big beam. So if you don't know what that ability is that I'm just firing right now, that is the quantum destabilizing beam. Essentially, it's it's a kind of like a phaser spinal lance, but for any ship, and a little debuffed, I suppose. Um, it's part of the uh, resonating cascade set quantum phase catalyst. I was close, sort of. I'm going to count myself as close on that. Anyway, so we still gotta play uh, hide-and-seek with the power core in this. I always thought this would be kind of a weird mechanic. 
impulse bursts! You know, this is really an underused console, <laughs> to be honest. It's such a nice console for getting around places fast. Yay, I made the right choice. Anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, the Quantum Catalyst set. Yeah, it's a pretty good set if you use Phaser. Um, which, obviously, Swan does use Phaser. Um, his beams are blue because he's mainly using the advanced Endorian phasers from the Fleet Store. Um, I like blue, so, you know, that's a good reason as any, I think. Um, yeah, I've, I've once again lost, I've ran out of topics to talk about so far. Okay, well, this is, this is, this is turning into a bit of a stalling fest now. Um, we are, we are almost done with the mission, though. Um, we got a little bit more to do. We need to kill this power core. My word, what is the rest of the, oh, they shot the wrong power core. Uh, that is a thing that actually happens if you shoot the wrong power core. Um, sometimes, like, a red herring will pop up of one of these things when you open them. And also, I just realized, I shouldn't be standing in... I shouldn't be waiting in these things. I'm gonna die. I need to get out of there. Yeah, if you get crushed between those things, it's an instant death, by the way. Just just so everyone knows. But like I was saying, there are sometimes uh, red herring power cores that pop up. And they'll have a little question mark next to them um, when they pop up. Like this one, that has a question mark to it, and that idiot over there just damaged us all because of that. Yeah, it uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Well, actually, it does do quite a bit of damage, I'd say, uh, to hull. But primarily, it just drains, it deletes your shields, essentially, just instantaneously. It's a really disgustingly powerful ability that it has. But uh, it's more of an annoyance more than anything. It affects your shields more than it affects your hull, by what I understand. But no, we're almost done with the power core. We have to we have to play hide and seek it, go and find it a couple of times, and we found it here. So this is the third time. I've got my command abilities now, by the way. Um, these are activated. These are charged up by the little power bar you see up there by activating bridge officer abilities. I'm going to be using the one I have labeled as uh, seven for my hotkey there in a moment because that gives us a really big bonus damage boost. I think it's like 30%, yeah, 30% damage and a negative 100 weapons power cost to everyone on my team. <laughs> it's really nice. But I can only use it once that m meter is uh, is filled up, and it's filled up right now. I always find it interesting when I, when I do uh, the commentaries on these videos like that. Sometimes I'm like really chatty and stuff, like right now. Uh, which, maybe I'm just tired, it's like 10 p.m. and I've had a really long week, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really tired right now and just slap at me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, quantum beam! Anyway, we need to destroy the giant central power core, for whatever reason. I guess we just don't like Voth and their ship. I don't know, I like dinosaurs in space, that sounds like a cool concept. Sounds like a good B-rated movie. Um, I'll activate my things. Never, I always forget to activate that. Oh, I should use that. I don't use Tetrion, but, yeah, whatever. I just used my, uh, Tetrion Cascade thing. I recently, actually just today, unlocked uh, a couple of the fifth unlock for uh, some traits here, which is really nice. And uh, one of them I was able to pick up that thing for one of my abilities. Um, I need to speed up this guy's a little bit heavy. But no, once we, uh, once we finish this guy, and... Boom! There we go. So where is the exit? Exit. Back that way. Okay. Evasive maneuvers to turn the giant ship. Okay. I'm lying. I'm lying. It, it wasn't that. It wasn't that hard to turn. <laughs> and now we have uh, 40 seconds to get out of here before we all die. Also, I'm going to use my impulse burst because it is ridiculously fast, ludicrous speed. Running into the wall. Boom. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that, everyone, was the Breach, the new and improved version of the Breach uh, compared to the old one. It's a really big improvement. Still not one of my favorite cues, to be honest, but still a really big improvement, I say. Um, let me just also show you the, uh, the reward that you get from completing this, which, by the way, if you're watching this now and you haven't started the event, uh, well, too bad you lost. You, you, it's too late. Anyway, we got the new USS Tianus, which is a pretty cool... Get out of my face. Which is a pretty cool ship. Essentially, when you when it's alone, you get 50 
to all stats when it's alone. And I don't know about you, but that's in a stinking good deal. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, yeah, that's, I, I, I don't have anything else to say right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah.